Welcome to the video of Vort. Torah tells us at the very end of this week's Sedra that a person should not eat non-kosher food, be separate from non-kosher food. And the very next Pasuk, the Torah says, V'hisam li kedoshim, you shall be holy to me, v'avdil eschem in ha'amim, and I will separate you from the nations, lihios li, to be for me. Says Rashi, citing the rabbis of Chazal, that this emphasis on being for me indicates how a person should conduct their uh, their engagement with mitzvahs. A person should not say to themselves, I find pork disgusting. I find a ham sandwich reviling. I find the notion of wearing big day kilayim, wearing shotness clothing, an anathema. Rather, a person, person should say to themselves, I really want to have the ham sandwich. I really would like to eat the non-kosher food. I would love to, to enjoy pork, but I, Hashem tells me not to, and what can I do? I must listen to Dvar Hashem. So it seems a little odd. You'd think that a person should want to have a sense of revulsion for things that God prohibited to, to us. Why do the rabbis say that we should not feel a sense of revulsion, but rather we should say, I want to do it, I desire it, and I can't do it because it's Dvar Hashem. And I think the answer is as follows. That the Torah wants us to have an authentic life experience, an authentic Torah uh, uh, life experience. That is to say that uh, the Torah recognizes that most people would like to, would prefer not to have limitations on the types of foods that they can eat. Most people would probably enjoy the, uh, the sensation of the various uh, fibers mixed with one another, wearing them as big day shotness. But what can I do? Mo, what can I do? I can't because it's Dvar Hashem. But I want to. I would desire it. I would like to. And that's an authentic, real human uh, response. And the, Torah, and, and the Torah wants a person's Torah experience to emanate and flow forth from their human experience. Because if we deny our humanity, if we deny our desires, if we deny what we really want, then that ultimately leads to a sense of inauthenticity, which can lead to a sense of resentment, which can lead then to renouncing the entire endeavor of Torah Judaism. So say Chazal, when we look at our various uh, prohibitions and regulations of our lives that the Torah has upon us, we shouldn't say, oh, it's, I find it disgusting and revolting. I don't want to do it anyway. No, we should be honest with what our true desires are. And even if those desires tell us that we would like to do something prohibited, we should embrace it and then say, what can I do? It's Dvar Hashem. That's doing a mitzvah lishma. And it's doing it from a most authentic place of honesty and integrity. And doing mitzvahs from that perspective will lead ultimately to a lifelong commitment of sincere Torah, uh, Torah Judaism. Good Shabbos.